What's up everyone, it's your boy Nolan Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad Movie Review and this is going to be another new film from this year. This actually premiered at Fantastic Fest last year I believe, but it's new to streaming this year so I'm counting this as a 2023 film for me. It's streaming on Peacock and this is called Sick and it's a new film written by Kevin Williamson. You might know him from being the writer from Scream so today we're going to talk about this kind of fun home invasion slasher film, my positives, the negatives, the rating, and then I'm gonna send you all home. So let's do this, roll it. Today we're gonna be chatting about 2023's Sick. This is directed by John Himes, if I got that correctly, I'm sorry if I butchered that, and it's written by Kevin Williamson, and this is a fun, kind of home invasion slasher film that has a lot to do with focusing on the COVID era and kind of the time and the height of when COVID was really taking off and stuff started to, you know, downward spiral and we, the country basically shut down. So it kind of takes place in that era around that time. So you got to be uh, comfortable with that and used to that. If you're not into like, you know, the mask thing or like hearing about COVID all the time or any of that kind of stuff, you're not going to be enjoying this film. But I had actually a really fun time with this film. It's action-packed. It's got some fun stuff. So let's talk about the positives right away. And starting right off the bat with our main positive is that this is a fun slasher. I love slashers. That's my favorite subgenre. And this one has a really good slasher vibe going on it, but also a home invasion vibe too, kind of similar to strangers like it has that kind of vibe to it as well so i like that and it plays very fast and it's quick pace so i like you know that as well it doesn't overstay its welcome i believe this film's like right at an hour and a half i think or something like that so it's a pretty quick watch and like i said it's a fun ride and it doesn't linger on any plot thread too long so it just keeps moving and moving and i know the covid thing is a huge center part of the theme of this film but I like the fact that this is probably one of the best kind of covert centered films that I like, that I enjoy. Probably because, like I said, it's a slasher film and they have uh, cool kills, fun, fun sequences. Like, for real, the sequences when the killer is like attacking them. Because we have two girls who are going to a cabin to hide out from the pandemic, basically, and just be alone, two friends. And it's her, one of the girls, it's her dad's house and she's tagging along with her friend, you know, bringing her along. And then her, uh, boyfriend or her current no her ex shows up and the stuff so like we add some more characters to the story but once stuff starts to take off man it it really takes off i also think this is a very well directed and just executed film like i said it's it's not trying to change slashers or add anything new it's not trying to be the next scream or be the next halloween or anything like that but it's definitely well packaged it's executed properly and like i said it's a short run time it's got everything you want in it i can see where the covid commentary might be a little daunting to some people and tiring but for me in terms of being like a film that has covid in it or focuses on kind of diseases and sicknesses that we've gotten since that's happened this is probably one of my favorites so far and the kills in here i like like i said it's action-packed fun like you know it's those kills that you're gonna be like whoa like it's shocking but you're like whoa like it comes at you and stuff and they're very brutal like i said there's a body count in this film and i like that and once we kind of reveal the twist because there is a twist in this film i'm not going to spoil anything this is not a spoiler review but once we reveal the twist like i said it doesn't linger too long on that keeps rolling keeps moving and the film kind of keeps evolving by the time you get to that third act so for me i had an overall very very fun time with this film dialogue is quick and it's witty and you can definitely tell kevin williamson's in there you can feel his spice because he he's able to write just like you know very natural realistic dialogue and it might be characters that you don't enjoy or you don't have fun with but it just feels natural it feels something something like a real person would say so that's what kevin williamson really brings to the table is that natural understanding of uh people another thing with this film that i do enjoy is it's very like secluded it's creepy you know there has those you know lingering shots of someone standing in the background just standing there like i said very much strangers vibes and i like that strangers was one of my favorite home invasion films and you know when it came out one of my favorite horror films pretty much of all time it's so fabulous and this film like has those creepy vibes you know you're just like it's 
wrenching of the tension and you know it's building and you know something bad's going to happen to these characters these main characters are following and you're just waiting for it to happen and it gets you like almost anxious on the edge of your seat and i like that aspect of this movie and like i said this film is currently streaming on peacock that's where you can check this film out but let's get into the mixed and negatives because this wasn't a perfect film in terms of mixed and negatives the characters aren't really that cool like i actually do like our main two protagonist characters by the end third act i was rooting for these girls a lot to make it through this the third act you know what i mean so the two girls i actually gravitated towards them but actually the you know antagonist character it just really didn't grab onto that i didn't like the dialogue in that character but that that's okay that's okay and there's some twist stuff too that you know like i said i like the way that it keeps moving it keeps rolling and it's fun and stuff but I kind of, kind of rolled my eyes once. I rolled my eyes once and I was like, oh, really? Like, come on now. But I still had an amazing time and can totally see myself returning to this film being a slasher for sure. And man, like I said, it focuses on that COVID time and it's like, has this cool poster and even the killer design, it's kind of very simple, you know what I mean? The black mask, black beanie and stuff. And like I said, the sequences of action are really pretty much action packed. So for me, like in terms of a rating, Man, like, I'm probably going to settle in at a 7, 7 or 7.5 out of 10 with this film. Because I think it's very solid. It lands. Like, pretty much there's just some character issues here and there. That's it. And, like, one twist thing that I just kind of rolled my eyes at. But overall, I still had an amazing time with the film. Like I said, it's a very short watch. Currently streaming on Peacock. And if you love slasher films, if you're into Kevin Williamson's scripts and his style of characters and stuff, you're probably going to really enjoy this film. For so sure. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so you get more videos like this. Like I said, we're 2023 is just beginning and we're going to be trying to keep track of all the films that I currently am watching this whole entire year. I have a letterbox, so I'll have my letterbox link in the description below so you can go follow me there. And like I said, for 2023, I'm going to be trying to keep a track of all the films I watch and then hopefully January next year. We're already planning for next year, January next year, we'll do a special live stream and we'll kind of count down and rank all the films that I saw all year. So that's kind of my big plan. And like I said, follow me on Letterboxd so you can see what I'm watching because there's always other films that I don't get a chance to review on the channel because I don't have the time to really spit my thoughts out on every single film and film. You know what I mean? I got three kids. I'm a father of three kids and, you know, I have my wife, my family and my house. So all of that stuff does take priority over this. So, yes, follow me there so you can check out what I'm watching and all that kind of stuff. And be sure to leave your thoughts and comments below on this film, Sick, if you've seen this one. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.